everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be changing out this dimple piercing. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I've been having problems with this because for whatever reason, um, this piercing has decided that this bar is too short. So it's been like very like painful, irritated, like ugly, oozing, and like just not fun at all. So I am changing the bar up today. I just got the bar in the mail today, and so I am super, super excited to get this all taken care of. Um, this isn't going to be like a crazy in-depth tutorial. I just thought it'd be fun for you guys to see how I'm going to change it. Um, I would recommend going to your piercer to do this, but my schedule right now, I don't really have that opportunity to go to my piercer, so I'm just doing it myself right now. Um, what I'm going to be using today is some gloves and this is what I'm going to, this is just like a standard barbell, um, and I'm going to use this to put through the piercing so I can guide the um, other bar that I'll put in through. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I'm using that, and this is the bar that I got. I got this off of Amazon. I bought it with my own money, um, but if you guys are wondering, it is from this company right here. This was included in the package that they sent me. But like I said, I bought this with my own money. It's not like sponsored or anything. In case you guys are wondering, that's the company. But I bought it off of Amazon and shouldn't make my eye. Um, I think it was five or six dollars off of Amazon. Um, but unfortunately, I couldn't find um, the right kind that I needed in the right gauge that I needed. Um, I could only find the ones that had the two balls here. Um, so I'm just going to have to take the backing on the one that I have in right now because both sides unscrew. Um, and I'm going to put that on this one because both of these unscrew as well. These are internally threaded, just like my cheek piercings are. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. This is three-fourths. Um, one of you guys on Snapchat, and I'm so sorry, I do not remember who it was, um, also has her cheeks pierced as well. And she told me to try a five-eighths of a bar. But I went ahead and I took out um, this one and measured it. And it was already at five-eighths. So I just went up to three four so hopefully this will be long enough um I'm sure it will be so I'm gonna do my best to show you guys what I'm doing but this is kind of gonna be tricky anyway um so hopefully this goes well I have a mirror right down here it's my Hello Kitty one um so that's what I'm gonna be looking down into um all right but I think that's it <sighs> let's get into it <laughs> all right so the reason I have gloves is just because um it, it'll help me like grip everything better and I'm gonna get everything nice and clean, sterilized, all that good shit, and then I will be right back to do all this. Alright, let's try to remove this one. Okay, I'm sorry if my lighting just went a little weird. Alright, so I have removed it, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this one back in. Alright, so this is what the bar that's in it, or was in it, looks like it's just that size. Alright, so I need to take off this little backing here. Alright, so I went ahead and I was able to get the backing on to the 3 fourths one, and that's falling out of my face. Alright, it's going to try to be... This is going to be the tricky part, I mean, but I'm going to feed this through on the inside, so hopefully I, this goes well. I'm sorry if my lighting's all fucked up. Sorry, guys. It's going to be hard. <laughs> Let me show you guys what the whole piercing is looking like right now. Um, that you guys can see. I'm sorry, I should have showed you when the bar was in, but I forgot. So, I'll show you what it looks like. So, that is what it is looking like right now. Yes, I have blemishes because I am, in fact, a human and we have blemishes. But, yeah. So, that's what it's looking like right now. 
All right, so I am just going to use the ball that was on the other one that I had in, um, just because the ones that came with the bar that's in right now are very like big, and I don't really like that for my face. Um, and if I use that, then I have to change this one. I really don't want to do that, so I'm just going to put the balls back on. Um, a couple of days, I'm probably going to switch back to the diamond ones that I always wear because I really like those, but yeah, I'm just going to put the little ball on. All right, so there is definitely extra length on that. A little bit more than I would like, but I don't really know what else to do, so that's, that's what I'm working with right now. Uh, hopefully whatever this when this piercing like settles settles down and everything I'll be able to put the other bar back in because I don't like them to have like a lot of extra length. Um and as you guys can see that's how much extra length it has right now and I don't <laughs> really like that. Um but that's all I can do for now. Alright so that is it for the video. I apologize that it wasn't like super close in depth tutorial. Um I just kinda wanted to just, I don't know, I thought it'd be fun for you guys to see how I would change it out. But like I said, I would recommend going to your piercer to do this. Just because the cheek piercings are such a delicate piercing anyway. And, you know, they get irritated, like, over anything really. And, you know, going to your piercer, that place is going to be more sterilized than, like, at your house. Um, but, obviously, like I said, I couldn't get to my piercer, so I just had to do it myself. Um, but I think that's really it. That's all I have to say. Um, don't forget to follow me on my social medias. They're linked down below. Um, don't forget that I'm still doing my dimple piercing Q&A and my nipple piercing Q&A. And if I remember, I will have those videos linked down below as well. So you guys can go ask me questions or whatever on those videos. And that's all I have to say. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching my video. And hopefully you'll check out my next one.